Hi friends, Auntie Cuckoo here. So it's summertime and everyone's taking vacations. Well, we recently took an RV vacation and I took the opportunity to film just some tips and tricks on how I pack for our family of five. So I ended up with so much footage. This is going to be a two video series. So in this first part, you're gonna see how I pack and store medication as well as clothing for a family of five. And these tips and tricks are appropriate not only for RVing, but also hotel stays and camping. Now part two is gonna be my favorite travel meals. What I like to make when we're camping or RVing and how to cut down on a lot of the mess once you get home. So you guys will see a lot of those tips and tricks along with an RV tour and some lessons I learned while we were there in part two. I hope you guys enjoy this video series and I'll see you soon in part two. Okay guys, so I just wanted to share with you a few things. I am packing for a vacation and wanted to show you sort of how I organize my medication and that sort of thing. So many of you know I am a nurse and I do keep my license up, although now I'm currently a stay-at-home mom. And thus, if you hear any giggling in the background, we have a few extra girls here today. So the kids are playing with friends and doing different things all around me. You may hear them in the background. And so what I like to do when I go on any sort of trip, whether it be hotel, camping, RVing, anything like that, is I carry with me the essentials. Now, I picked this up at the 99 cents only store. It was actually in the tool section. I know that Dollar Tree currently carries something as well in the stationary teacher crafting area. And I'll go ahead and insert a picture of that here now. Okay, so I just wanted to share that one with you. I know that Dollar Tree is in every state and 99 cent only store is not. So I picked this up, as I said, in the tool um, home department and it's about the size of two of my hands, side by side, probably about nine inches square. And I like to bring this and just stow it, it does clip close, and that way I don't have to bring multiple bottles or boxes of things. So we do have an additional first aid kit, but I do have boys, and I am a nurse, so I know there may be open skin. So what I like to bring with me is a bottle of the liquid bandage. You can pick this up at Walmart, Target, any place like that. It stings horribly, but it does create a bit of a second skin, and it um, just sort of closes any sort of wound. I would not recommend it for a very young child <laughs> because it does sting so, so badly. But if you need to close up a wound, this is great. Also, I've used it for my kids if they've been in the pool a whole lot and their toes tend to peel a little bit. We'll put some of this on and let it dry thoroughly and that creates a nice little barrier. I just put in here a pair of gloves. I pick those up at the Dollar Tree all the time. I have some medical tape, something you can also get the Dollar Tree. These are from Target. These are actually butterflies. And so instead of having to rush off right away to a hospital, if we have a little boo-boo, we can definitely use a butterfly until we get there or instead of, quite honestly. I've had enough injuries with my boys to know. And just some gauze wrap in case we need to wrap anything couple alcohol swabs and a few of the gauze pads. Those are from the Dollar Tree. I have the alcohol swabs. Um, as many of you know, I do have multiple sclerosis and I do give myself a daily injection. So those are always around. So all that fits right here in this little compartment and it's kind of just there in case we need it and hopefully we don't. This is just your run-of-the-mill Walmart antibiotic 
cream, uh, just like a Neosporin. I do have quite a few bandages down here. Now, I like this little thing because it actually has compartments that you can set in or take out. So I've taken out those other ones. I have them resting here underneath the liquid bandage. This is Dayquil. This is NyQuil. <laughs> and so if anybody goes down or gets a little, you know, cold or anything, we're prepared. Um, these are the main things that I like to bring with me. Now, I use these little page flags and I just label them. I know what they all are, but in case anyone else would have to access them, I want them to know what they are. You could also put a piece of scotch tape right here above it and write on it with a pen or a marker. So I just have Pepto-Bismol in this first one and Pepto does help with many, many stomach issues. So I like to have that. This is both Tylenol and Advil. And right here I do carry Benadryl in the event that someone would have some sort of allergic reaction. We do have a child who occasionally needs an inhaler, so we carry that with us. As well as when I'm traveling, I tend to get dry eyes. And if you get anything in your eye or scratch, you know, your eye with an eyelash or anything like that, it's nice to have some artificial tears. These are just cough drops. And I think I have something. Yes, I have some Sepacol for really, really sore throat down there. So I just like to keep these things for comfort and just to be prepared in case of anything going awry. And it's a quick, easy way to store all your medication. It's all in one place and it's a great addition to any first aid kit. So I do always bring something like this with us on vacation. And then I bring my own personal medication in this little thing from the Dollar Tree. They come in sets of three and they're just a great little square and I'll open it up and show you. And so it's just a nice little square. It has a lid, it pops on and off. I do carry my mouth guard from the Dollar Tree and my earplugs. Now I have not been using the earplugs from the Dollar Tree. They are a bit uh, too firm for me. I like softer ones. And so what I like to do is I buy these little bags here and I think I picked these up at Walmart. I think I got like 200 for maybe $2. And I just put my daily medication in there and so that I have one for each day and any additional medication we may need for the family while we're there. And I keep these in my purse so it's on me. And I do have to carry an injection with me, but that will go somewhere else. But this is all I need for my personal use. And so I like to keep this on me. And then this will go in our luggage somewhere. I am bringing this, which is just for protection against different flea and ticks and that sort of thing. And I do bring an eye mask because I'm very sensitive to light and sound. So that's what I bring for medication. Then I wanted to share with you all some things that I do just daily. So what I have in our um, hallway cupboard, which is kind of like our toiletry area, is I have this little Sterilite drawered system. And I have things stored according to first aid, nose, which means anything cold or flu related, sore throat is included in that, and then stomach. So I like to keep things like Benadryl and aspirin and Benadryl liquid, things like that that we would need in these drawers. And it just makes it quick and easy for me to access and get to. Just wanted to share that. And then I don't like to keep a whole lot of bottles on hand. So if we have any sort of medication that... Um, I'm going to be saving for any reason. What I do is I use this little soap container, which you can pick these up at the Dollar Tree, and I use my little baggies and I just label what is in them and how much and store them all in here. And so this is probably, gosh, eight different, I think, medications and they all fit in the size of this little soap dish and you can write on there the 
name of the medication, the dose and the expiration date and ready to go. There you go. So as you can tell, this is old. I've done this for a while. So I just wanted to share with you my quick and easy medication tips for storage, especially for travel, but also just show you guys how I store them on a regular basis. So guys, I just wanted to share with you how I pack our family for a vacation. And this is usually true for any trip that we take. This particular trip is going to be in an RV and occasionally it'll be in a hotel. We have tent camped plenty in the past and the older we get, the more we enjoy renting an RV. So let me show you what I've done. Every time school ends for the year, I try to get the kids to clean out their backpacks and I wash them right away. So these have just been washed and they are getting new backpacks for next year, so this is just gonna become sort of a piece of luggage for this sort of thing. And what I like to do is I get a lot of storage bags. I got this from Walmart. It's 80 of the gallon zipper style without the little plastic thingy on them. And I use these for their clothes. So what I've done is for each day I've put for each of the children their outfit, their underpants, and socks. And so I have all of their days organized so that they don't have to figure out what they're going to wear. I also designate a bag for bathing suits so that if they do happen to get in the water and they're wet, we can easily store it in a bag and it won't get everything else wet. And so I've got three days of clothing here for each person and they'll carry their own backpack and have a cupboard in the RV to keep it. This also allows me to go ahead and put pajamas right on top and not in a bag. Let me reach behind me here. And so then they open their bag and the only thing that's not in a bag, they know that's their pajamas. So I'm going to go ahead and load these up and then the kids can go ahead and fill this up with any kind of toys, devices, stuffed animals, phones, DS, all that sort of thing. And then in addition to this, the only thing they normally bring would be we wear flip-flops into the RV and then we keep our camping, hiking shoes underneath so that it does underneath the RV in the storage so it doesn't get all dirty inside of the RV and their sweatshirt and that's it. So my daughter has hers all packed in in her room and this is another one of the kids bags and everything is all ready to go. I did that a few days ago and a big tip here for parents as my kids tend to wear clothing out not necessarily that it's too small but if it has a stain on it or if it's um, just looking faded and dull and something I would either trash donate or give away as a hand-me-down I keep a pile if I know we're going to have an upcoming trip, especially for camping. So for instance, this child's clothes, these shorts are just difficult to match. <laughs> and so he never wears them. So they're perfect for camping because they're loud and obnoxious. We'll be able to find him. And they were headed to the Goodwill. And then I did the same thing with these pajamas because they're starting to look a bit like a high water on him he's had a growth spurt but they're perfect for camping and same thing with these shorts they're just not something he normally wears and they were headed on their way out and then this shirt is getting to be almost too small and these shorts are starting to look really worn so instead of automatically donating which we donate through the entire year we always have a donation pile going in our garage i held on to these things and that will be great because we can go ahead and wear those items without worrying about getting them ruined i had a few things for my older child as well as my middle child 
where maybe there was just a pinhole little rip in the knee and that's perfect for camping. So hold on to some of your more worn clothes if you're thinking about getting rid of them because those are just the type of clothes you wanna take camping. Now for my husband and I, we're not gonna take luggage into the RV. We're actually gonna take this pop-up hamper. This one is from Walmart, but I did purchase a few from Dollar Tree today because a lot of mine were starting to fall apart. So I just put my changes of clothes right here in this hamper and my husband will put his in here as well. And then our pillows, anything like that, that we're going to be taking to the area, we'll be sleeping and we'll put our clothing directly into the cupboard so we won't have additional luggage hanging around. And I'm going to use one of these for our blankets and towels and anything for linen wise. I do take sheets with us and what I will do is bring our summer towels, so our pool towels, beach towels, and that way each one has a different print and we know whose is whose. But I just wanted to share with you how I do this. And this is actually how we tend to pack even in a hotel. And if it's a quick trip, something that is just an overnight, we'll all just put a change of clothes in a pop-up hamper, carry it in, put all of our dirty laundry in it, and carry it out. So just wanted to share how I do it with you all. Hopefully this had some helpful tips for you. So guys, I forgot to mention something when I was telling you about how I put the, each outfit in a bag. So why I do that is that it's easy to access and for the kids to just pull it out and get dressed without going through their whole bag but also when you are camping especially you come in and you smell very much like a campfire and so usually our kids will go in and shower one at a time in the evening get clean get in their pajamas and get in bed and part of this process is that they can easily grab clothes in their bag take them into the shower and shower and then their dirty clothes can go into the bag that they got their clean clothes out of. So I just wanted to mention that it's partially for odor control and laundry control because in an RV or even in a campsite, if you're using the showers that are there, you have to be very efficient and get in and get out quickly. And this is just a great way to carry your clean clothes and then use the bag to store your dirty clothes. And I wanted to mention that because I had forgotten.